Blind buying fragrances is fun, but it can be dangerous. If you're interested in hearing my raw reactions to my latest additions to my collection, then just keep watching. Before we get into the video, I do want to quickly introduce myself for those of you who may be new here. My name is Aisha. I make videos about fragrance, beauty, luxury, and lifestyle. If those are things you're interested in, please consider subscribing. And if you are a returning subscriber, hey all, welcome back to my channel. So if you've been watching my channel for a while, then you probably know I love a good blind buy. <laughs> I know it's risky behavior, but I do it anyway because I love the rush, right? Now, although I love the rush of a blind buy, recently I have been thinking that maybe I should start to purchase decants instead of full bottles when I do my blind buy. So that way I still get the rush of the blind buy, but it's for less of a monetary commitment. Now, I don't like buying samples, because they are so small that I feel like they're just not proper for testing for me. I don't typically buy decants because I do like to get that full bottle presentation. However, I know that buying decants is definitely the smarter option as opposed to buying full bottles blindly. So I was super excited when I was contacted by Scentbird to partner on a video. So if you've never heard of Scentbird, they are a company that sells decant fragrances. You can either buy monthly subscriptions from them or just buy the decants outright and they even sell some full bottles honestly i know them for the monthly subscriptions i was a subscriber to scent burr way back in the day when they first came out and back then it was nice but honestly they did not have the biggest selection now they have a huge selection they have niche fragrances they have designer fragrances they have expensive fragrances they have inexpensive fragrances and i was just surprised to see how much their site has come up since I last subscribed to them. And that was probably at least seven years ago when I was subscribed to Scentbird. So the way the subscription service works is if you sign up for a subscription and you say you wanna get one perfume a month, then you get to pick out your perfume every single month and they will send it to you. Now, if you don't know what fragrance you want to try and you're just kind of looking to expand your perfume knowledge, then they do have a quiz on there where you can take that quiz and they will give you some fragrances that they think match the answers that you chose for the quiz. I took the quiz and I was actually surprised that the fragrances that they recommended for me were ones that did seem quite interesting for me. <laughs> So I think that the quiz did a pretty good job of selecting fragrances for me. Also, I noticed on their site that now they sell candles and home fragrances, and some of the candles they have are really high-end candles. So I was impressed to see that on their site as well. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into these fragrances. This is the package they sent me. And like my typical blind buy hauls, I have not smelled any of these fragrances. I have not opened the fragrances. This is all my real first impressions. So please take them with a grain of salt because they are first impressions and we all know how first impressions can change. So let's open it up. So they sent me six fragrances and I wanna show you these. The fragrances come in this little pouch and then inside them you have the atomizer and their atomizers are gorgeous y'all this looks very high end now i know this is white so it may be hard to see but i will definitely insert a close-up for you all but i really like these atomizers they look very luxurious they also lock so if you want to carry one of these around in your purse then you definitely could another thing that i wanted to share with you all is that there is no name of the fragrance down below because this case can be used for any fragrance you want to use it for if you want to switch out what's actually in your uh spray bottle so this just opens up and it's magnetic i think it's very easy to open and close but it still feels quite secure so it opens up and then you actually have the vial inside and then on that vial you actually have the name of the fragrance so you can see this first one is from parfums de marley and it's pegasus also in addition to the atomizer you will get a information card for each particular fragrance it'll have a picture of the full bottle on the front and then on the back of that card 
you have some key notes and information about the fragrance. Now, y'all know I typically don't read notes for fragrances when I'm talking about them because I really just want to give you my thoughts on how they smell. So although I have some key notes here, I'm gonna go off my smell, okay? So <laughs> let's try out this first one. Again, this is Pegasus from Parfums de Marly. And this is actually a male targeted fragrance. Like they market it to men as part of the men's line. But I've heard it was unisex. So I really wanted to try it because I heard it was a beautiful almond type fragrance. So let's smell it. Okay, this is gorgeous, y'all. This is really pretty. So to me, this smells like a powdery almond floral scent. And I say pretty, even though this is supposedly a masculine fragrance, because I don't feel like this is masculine at all. I don't think it's feminine. I think it's perfectly unisex. And I could definitely see myself wearing this. Yeah, it's light and fresh and airy, but it still has a sweetness to it. And it definitely smells like there's some almond in here. Almost like almond milk. There's like a creaminess to this. This is really pretty, y'all. I am actually really surprised because I knew this was a risk because it's targeted towards men, but I really enjoy this. Okay, okay. All right, so, so far, Parfum de Mali Pegasus is a yes for me. I know sometimes when people do these kind of videos, they tell you if something's full body bottle worthy or not. I don't wanna go that far because honestly, I haven't worn these on the skin. I'm just doing first impressions, but I will say if something's a yes for me or a no for me right at first sniff, okay? So as of right now, like I said, this one is a yes for me. Smells really good. I could definitely see myself wearing this and I think it's perfect for a daytime year round. It definitely does not smell too heavy to wear during the summer, but I also think it will hold us on during the winter if you like fresher scents and if you like almond type scents as well. So again, that is Parfums de Marley Pegasus. Oh wow, this next one is really pretty. Look at this case. That is gorgeous. This is like a beautiful teal color. This one is from Hermetica and this one is called Amber Bee. That's what the bottle looks like. Really pretty bottle. I've been really wanting to try some Hermetica fragrances. I've heard they are like very oily and so they're actually meant to rub together. I don't know if that's actually true or not, y'all. I guess I should have looked that up before I came on here. <laughs> but I really want to try them. Okay, this one smells really good as well. Oh, this one is sweet. Oh my gosh, this is so good. This is more of a gourmand scent. I was not expecting that. Um, so it smells sweet, like like it's slightly boozy and ambery and like there may be some vanilla in this as well. And even kind of smells like some honey is in this, but not an animalic honey, just like a very fresh honey. Um, kind of like the honey would, you would have in your cabinet. It doesn't smell too animalic. It just smells sweet and delicious. I definitely could smell some florals in the background of this fragrance, but I would definitely classify this as more of a gourmand fragrance with florals in the background. This is really pretty, y'all. I definitely smell something boozy. I am interested to see when, <laughs> when I look up the notes after this if there is a boozy note. Let's see, on the back of this, it doesn't say there's a boozy note, just the key notes they give, but this is not the full note breakdown. So I will be putting the full note breakdown on screen for you all as usual. Um, but this smells really, really, really good. It definitely smells boozy. And if it's not, if there's no alcohol in this fragrance, I would bet there's some sort of fruit, like dark fruit, like plum or something. Because sometimes plum notes can come off boozy to me. Um, so I don't know. I don't know, but this smells delicious. I really, really like this. I am surprised. Okay, Amber B, I love it. So again, that is Hermetica Amber B. So this next fragrance is from a brand that I have never tried. The brand is Confessions of a Rebel, and this one is called Bite Me. So this is what the bottle looks like, and this one is in this beautiful gray case, which I really love with the gold accents. I think that's really nice. Okay, this one smells sweet, like cotton candy kind of. Yeah, I definitely smell like cotton candy type of sweetness. It is airy though, it's not heavy and dense, but it is definitely sweet, sugary sweet. Also smells like there could be some sort of floral like rose um, in this, but more of a like fresh, young, energetic rose, not a heavy rose. 
Yeah, it definitely smells like a floral cotton candy, honestly. <laughs> I like it. Is it my favorite? Mm, no, so far this is the least favorite out of the ones that I have tried. But I do like it and I would be interested in wearing this. Now that I keep smelling, I feel like there's also like a bit of a soapy vibe to it as well. So I would kind of have to see how this one wears on the skin. So I'm glad that I was able to try this. Um, but as of right now, it's just okay. I like it, but it's not something that I feel like I need to have. So again, that is Confessions of a Rebel, Bite Me. So this next fragrance is one that I have been recommended so many times. It seems like all the women here on YouTube love it. <laughs> But honestly, I've never been that interested in the brand. I've tried one fragrance from them before and ended up getting rid of it. It wasn't my thing. Um, so I don't know. Since then, I've never really been super interested in the brand, even though they are a very popular niche brand. Anyway, the brand we're talking about is Creed, and this is Aventus for her. This one is in this beautiful black case. I love the black and gold together. All these cases are really nice. They have really upgraded their packaging. Anyway, this is what the bottle looks like. And again, it's Creed Aventus for her. Now I've heard this is great for the summer. And it seems that all the ladies here that I love and watch love this fragrance. So I'm finally trying it. <laughs> Believe it or not, I've never even tried to smell this fragrance at store. I just wasn't interested. So let's see. Okay. I definitely smell some citruses in this fragrance. They are quite bright. I don't know if pineapple is a note in here or if it's just me making that up, but I know there's pineapple in the men's, um, so I'm not sure if that's the same in the women, but to me, it smells like a bright, very zesty pineapple. Not a sweet pineapple, but like a bright, very zesty pineapple, but not as masculine as Creed Aventus for men. I have smelled that one. I am familiar with that one. That one to me smells masculine. This definitely smells like the feminine version of that. But I could definitely see a man wearing it, but I don't feel like it smells masculine. This smells like something I would wear. It's something quite clean and fresh about this, but still womanly. I think this would be great for hot weather, honestly. I really like this. I actually feel like I smell some lemon in this as well, but it doesn't go like lemon cleaner route. Just something just very zesty and fresh and clean, but still very sophisticated. Doesn't smell like the run-of-a-mill citrus fragrance. I'm actually surprised that I like this. I actually really like this. I cannot, I was going to say, I can't wait till warmer weather to wear this, but honestly, I could wear it now. It's still hot here, but I'm just not in this kind of citrusy mood right now, but I may have to wear this and let y'all know because I am really liking this. You see, I keep sniffing it. <laughs> And I'm honestly shocked just because I just didn't think this would be my thing. To me, this just puts me in summertime mode when I smell it. And that's not really the kind of fragrances I'm reaching for right now, but I, I, I love the way it smells, y'all. <laughs> I feel kind of embarrassed to say that because like I said, I've never been interested no matter how many people say they love this, but I actually love the way this smells, so I can't wait to wear it on my skin and see how it does. Um, again, that's Creed Aventus for her. So this next fragrance is from a brand that's always caught my eye when I've seen it online, but I have never tried it. I've never been able to smell it in store. The brand is Her Heretic, and this one is Dirty Vanilla. So again, this one is in the black case, and this is what the full bottle looks like. So let's go ahead and spray it. Oh, that's pretty. Okay, so I definitely get vanilla and I definitely get some greenness and some citrus at the top. Honestly, at first spray, it reminded me of Nishane Ani. I'm not saying they're dupes. I'm just saying at first spray, that's what I thought of, but nowhere near as heavy as Ani. But it does still have that kind of beautiful cloud like vanilla that Nishane Ani has. And it also has that greenness and that citrus tone. I'm wondering if ginger is a note in here as well. Now that this fragrance is drying down, I feel like I'm smelling something sort of woody. But the wood to me smells very like fresh, like cedar or something like that. I really like this. It's not a dupe for Ani, but they are, but I do feel like it is similar to Ani and y'all know I love Ani, so I'm always a fan of that. Okay, I <laughs> I feel like I am winning on these blind buys even though I didn't buy them. 
I did pick them out, y'all. They didn't just send them to me. I picked all these out. I love this. I love it. Okay, I am feeling very successful right now, okay? So again, that is Dirty Vanilla from Heretic, and this is an absolute yes for me. All right, we're on the last fragrance, and this one is in this beautiful blue case. And this one is one that I've heard so many great things about. This one is from Tiziana Terenzi, and it is Spirito Fiorentino. So this is what the bottle looks like. Beautiful red and gold bottle. I've heard so many people talk about how great this was. So let's see if I agree. I've also heard some people say it kind of has a growing you. So we'll see what it smells like at first sniff for me. Okay. <laughs> I have to say, a lot of people compare this to Baccarat Rouge 540. And I haven't even put the card to my mouth yet, even though I feel like the spray just got in my mouth. Yuck. I haven't put the card to my mouth, my nose yet. But I can definitely smell the Baccarat vibes just right off the first spray. So let's let's go ahead and smell this thing. Okay, it doesn't smell like Baccarat up close to me. But that first spray, right when I sprayed it, I definitely got Baccarat vibes. So this fragrance to me smells sweet and airy. And it gives me Baccarat vibes, but it doesn't smell like Baccarat. Hopefully that makes sense. I'm assuming that saffron is a note in this because it definitely smells like sweet saffron mixed with a leathery tone, which sometimes saffron can come off leathery. So I'm not sure if, if it's the saffron in this or, or if there is actually a leather note in it, but it smells really good y'all. It is deep and at the same time airy, which kind of makes no sense to me, <laughs> but there is something really deep in this, like something leathery woody, but then you have that airy sweetness. I really like it. Do I love it? Not right now. <laughs> But I do like it and I feel like this is one I'm definitely gonna have to try on my skin. I think it's interesting. Um, it definitely puts me in the mind of BR540, but it's not the same. There's something a little bit more masculine about this. I'm not saying this is a masculine fragrance, but I think that it leans more masculine than the BR540. I like it, I like it. So this is a yes, but I definitely need to try this on my skin to see you know, how it plays with my body chemistry. But so far I do like it. Yeah, I think this could be quite addictive because I keep putting my nose back to the car even though I'm not necessarily in love with it. Every time I smell it, I feel like it's getting better and better. So <laughs> I'm excited to actually play with this one on my skin. As of right now, I think this would be great for date night if you love the scent. So again, that is Spirito Fiorentino from Tiziana Terenzi. So those are all the fragrances they sent me. This is super fun for me to share these first impressions with you all. You know how I love my blind buys, but decants are probably a much better way to go as opposed to blind buying a full bottle. So thank you so much to Scentbird to, for partnering with me on this video. If you all are interested in trying Scentbird, definitely check out my description box. I will have links to them down below. Also, if you've tried any of the fragrances that I tried here today, let us know what you think of them down below. Did you agree with my first impression? or did you have an opposite reaction to these scents? If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to my channel. Also, if you're not already following me on Instagram, follow me over there. I always give you guys sneak peeks and new fragrances in my collection. Sometimes I do updates over there and I always like to chit chat with you guys in my stories on Instagram. So definitely check me out on Instagram as well. I hope you all enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next one. Bye.